a very good morning to all of you welcome to ANB exam forum student in crack CSIR SO ASO 23 series we are now bringing the previous year questions for the exam that was held in year 2013 for the post of assistant and the questions uh, which we are taking from to for today's session will be from general awareness okay so without wasting any time let's uh, begin the session so the first question is on your screen and your time starts now student this question is from the general science more precisely optics student the question says a ray of light hits a mirror and is reflected if mirror rotate by 10 degree in one direction then reflected ray will be rotated by what yes student don't think about 10 degree why this 10 degree is wrong because this is not angle of incidence we know angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection but here mirror is rotated by angle of 10 degree so those who are thinking of 10 degree they are wrong okay so what should be the correct answer let's try to see what is the logic behind this so this is the mirror okay uh, this is the normal line okay in the first case so this is a source of light so this is angle of uh, incident ray this is angle of incidence this is angle of reflection it will be same angle i okay let me change the color okay so now the question says the mirror is rotated by 10 degree okay so this my mirror sorry for my diagram so mirror is say rotated by angle theta so this is my mirror okay so obviously if you are rotating this mirror you are uh, by theta so your normal will also move by angle theta right so this normal will also move by angle theta normal will also move by angle theta okay so now this total become angle of incidence what i plus theta okay so uh, let's uh, reflect the ray so uh, this will be reflected here so this total will become with respect to normal this will become what i plus theta according to law of reflection but we need to find the x x means how much then reflected ray will be rotated okay this total is i plus theta this we need to find out so this i, I will say x so x will be what this total you know i plus theta okay this total is i plus theta we need to find this x what is what will be this angle this angle will be i minus theta this is i this is theta so this will become i minus theta so subtract it with i minus theta so it will become i got cancelled theta plus theta it will become 2 theta so it will become twice of this 10 so answer will be 2 20 degree okay so correct answer is option 2 let's see the next question it is from the biology a cut on the palm heal faster than on the knee okay why why is this so student the options are palm is bigger than the there is no logic behind that that if it is palm then uh, uh, it will heal faster no okay the next one is skin of palm is softer than skin you can consider it but it, this is also irrelevant illogical okay these two options are somewhat logical palm is nearer to hurt than knee okay the supply of blood is often in palm uh, than the knee okay the logic behind uh, this faster healing is basically two things first is supply of oxygen plus nutrients okay since the supply of blood is more in palm because of which this uh, oxygen and nutrients will 
go faster in palm than knee that's why this healing process goes faster so option 3 for this question is the correct one okay let's see the next question lightning is seen before thunder because a very simple one which we have studied in our uh, school days yes uh, yes you are right lightning is seen before thunder why because speed of light is faster than the speed of sound okay so uh, but here they have not given like this so instead they have reversed it speed of sound is slower than speed of light so option 3 is the correct answer okay but if I ask you what is the speed of sound and light speed of light uh, in meter per second you know it is 3 into 10 power 8 meter per second whereas speed of sound is just 343 meter per second okay so you can see the huge difference so definitely in thunder it will be reflected so option 3 is the right answer let's see the next question Student, this question is from the science. I is, ice is slippery because it melts under pressure. It's not actual solid. Hardened under pressure is brittle. Okay, student, these two options you can easily eliminate because it is not brittle. It is uh, not hardened under pressure. These two options are can be there. Okay. But the correct answer for this question is it melts under pressure. So if you have an ice cube, there is atmospheric pressure which is holding on that ice because of which it melts. So option 1 is the correct answer. And this question, uh, this the greatest advantage of human being having two eyes is what? Let's see who can give the answer. I know in your school days uh, we have been told that the main purpose of having two eyes to pro provide larger view larger field of view okay but student this is not the correct one okay this is the wrong knowledge that we have been incorporated the two eyes means the larger field of view the correct answer is ability to view object in three dimension why because student this type of vision which is having two eyes is called stereoscopic visions stereoscopic vision what does this mean it means the eye has ability to distinguish between depth also so whenever depth also come along with the distance it becomes three dimensional okay so your brain process the depth also because of the two eyes so correct answer is option four ability to see the object in three dimension okay let's see the next question typhoid is caused by what a very simple one student you know mosquito is for malaria fungus it is nowhere related so these two are wrong student generally confused with virus and bacteria but in case of typhoid the correct answer is bacteria and the name of bacteria is as you know salmonella bacteria typhi bacteria typhi is the name of the bacteria okay and as you know it can cause disturb uh, your stomach and it can also create diarrhea along with the fever okay so correct answer is option two bacteria let's see the next question this is a very simple one global warming is believed to be due to what very simple one i will not discuss in more it is increase in co2 that is also called greenhouse effect global warming okay increase in co2 because it has capacity to capture the heat so that's why it is able to increase the global temperature so option 3 is the right answer let's see the next question quickly 
स्टूडेंट ओशनिक टाइड्स आर स्मॉलेस्ट ऑन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डे ओके सो दीज आर द फोर ऑप्शन स्टूडेंट जनरली वी कंसिडर दैट ऑन द न्यू मून डे इट विल बी द स्मॉलेस्ट ओके इट विल बी द स्मॉलेस्ट अवर दिस इज अवर अजम्पन बेसिकली ओके एंड ऑन द फुल मून डे इट इज द हाइएस्ट ओशनिक टाइड दैट इज फॉर श्योर ऑन फुल मून डे इट विल बी ओशनिक टाइड विल बी हाइएस्ट बट ऑन न्यू मून डे इट इज नॉट द स्मॉलेस्ट स्टूडेंट इट इज स्मॉलेस्ट फ्रॉम द न्यू मून डे और फ्रॉम द फुल मून डे प्लस सेवन डेज ओके सो बेसिकली ऑन सेवन डे इट इज एट इंच डे ऑफ द वैक्सिंग मून सो ऑप्शन थ्री इज द करेक्ट आंसर दिस इज डिफिकल्ट वन बट यू शुड रिमेंबर दिस पॉइंट लेट सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज फ्रॉम द साइंस अगेन हॉट एयर बेलून राइज इज अप बिकॉज ऑफ वर्ड so as you know whatever is lighter it will go up whatever is lighter it will go up so hot air is lighter than cold air that's why it is rising up so option 1 is the correct answer i think this is the last question of today's session uh let's see a pilot flying a helicopter looks at the image of the moon in the river he finds the diameter of the moon covering the entire width of the river when he lands he finds the diameter of moon reflection is much smaller than the width of the river why does this happen okay this is obviously related to apparent diameter so if you if you go up so you are flying here okay uh, this is a river so if you go up the size of the river will reduce and you will find this uh Uh, diameter is covering the entire width so this is a river so this moon is covering the entire width okay but as you come down this a uh, uh, width of the river will increase because of this distance okay so as we go up the apparent diameter of moon increases uh, this is wrong as we go up the apparent width of river decreases rapidly that's what we have said so if you go down the width apparent width of the diameter increase because of the vision basically as we go up the apparent diameter of moon does not change yes diameter of moon does not change okay because it is on the top since we are the top of the river uh, this diameter change but moon is on our top so apparent diameter will doesn't will not change much okay so option 4 2 and 3 both are correct okay so option 4 is the correct answer so that's it student we have seen 10 questions from the general awareness uh, in the next session we will see new few more questions from general awareness okay so till now you, if you have not subscribed to our channel subscribe it it will be very beneficial for you in future as well as uh, it will be a supporting gesture for us okay so thank you for watching and have a nice day